Hi Mustang families, my name is Adam Camacho and I'm the proud principal here at San Diego High School Academy. This is my 21st year in education here in this district and I'm proud to introduce my amazing AP team. Hi, my name is Dr. Jeremy Meadows and I'll be the assistant principal working with students with their names A through G. We'll also be working with ASB, doing all of our testing and website. I previously worked at La Costa Canyon High School as an assistant principal, and I'm excited to be here and to meet all of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Celeste Barnett. I work with students whose last names start with the letters H through N, and this is my fourth year, fourth year at SDA. Hi, I'm Katie Bendix, assistant principal, serving students with last names O through Z, and I too am in my fourth year here at SDA. Hi again, Mustang families. From my home to yours, welcome back. I want to thank you for your patience and your understanding as we continue to work hard to prepare for a successful opening to the 2020-21 school year. As you know, we are opening via a distance learning model at least through the first quarter. This presentation will cover important highlights for what to expect, how we will communicate with you, and what resources will be available to you and your student. Many of you have heard me say this in the past and I'll say it again. It takes a village. While always important, it seems that more than ever, our partnership is key to a smooth transition into distance learning. We acknowledge that your homes will now be, in large part, our physical learning environment. Together, with the amazing work of our talented teachers and support staff, we will serve our students in the highest standard. With steadfast dedication, support, and understanding, we will all continue to learn and provide the best educational experience we can. It is the SDA way. Welcome back. We have learned a lot about how to improve the distance learning experience for our students. In order to maximize student learning, support student well-being, and comply with state mandates, you're gonna see some pretty significant improvements in the way distance learning is going to be, is going to feel and look this fall as compared to last spring. Some specifics include 100% of the academic content for each course will be delivered. Students will be taught across a consistent learning platform from class to class. Specifically, we'll be using Google Classroom. Students will engage in a combination of live synchronous instruction every day and independent asynchronous student work. Attendance will be taken every period every day. We will be following a bell schedule that is more consistent with the traditional on-campus bell schedule, not identical, but very similar. And all students will be graded using a letter grade system. To best meet the mandates included in Senate Bill 98, we reflected on feedback from families during our spring 2020 distance learning experience and worked with SDA staff and colleagues to create the draft learning schedule that you see on your screen for quarter one of distance learning. As you can see, the day of distance learning begins for students at 8.40 a.m. daily. This schedule preserves approximately one hour per period for daily interaction, synchronous or real-time learning, asynchronous learning, student engagement with teacher provided resources without that real time instruction and more. From 1.45 to 2.55 p.m. daily, staff will be available for student learning and support as students take time for independent applied learning and activities or that asynchronous instruction, attend scheduled teacher office hours as needed and more. On Fridays, students will meet with their homeroom teacher for a time of connection, check-ins and intentional preservation of the SDA culture. Again, this bell schedule is still in draft form and we will continue to work with a variety of stakeholders to solidify our 2020-2021 distance learning schedule. We will advertise and communicate the final bell schedule as soon as possible. It's important to note that the distance learning schedule will be in place for the entirety of the first quarter through October 28th, even if circumstances allow us to welcome small groups of students in need of specific supports back to campus before this date. 
More details are headed your way soon. In the face of distance learning for at least the first quarter of the year, it is more important now than ever before to ensure that all student and parent contact information is up to date. Please be sure you've completed the data confirmation process through the ARIES Parent Portal and provided updated information. We strongly encourage including your child's cell phone number for any necessary staff contact if you're comfortable. SDUHSD will continue to use our established system for parent communication, now known as SignalKit, but soon to be known as ParentSquare. Most parent direct communication, including our regular attendance notifications, will be sent through this system to the contact information provided in ARIES. Be sure to adjust your junk mail settings right now, just in case. Please help us by reminding your student to check their district email address regularly as all school communication will be sent through this student account. Students should not use their personal email addresses to contact staff. Troubleshooting tips, including instructions on how to change their password, can be found at my.sduhsd.net. The SDA website hosts all of our school information. Check out the announcements feed, tabs with department information, school calendar, and our staff directory. While in our distance learning model, the most reliable means of contact with most SDA staff will be through email. Though the student support staff in the main office, as well as the registrar, attendance, counseling, and assistant principal's offices can be reached by phone at the extensions listed on our website. At this time, there should be absolutely no visitors to campus unless there is an essential need that cannot be met virtually. For example, nutrition services meals or technology pickup. Instructional materials, including textbooks that your student may need during distance learning, will be distributed soon after the start of the school year. If your teacher requires additional materials, they will communicate directly with your student about those needs. And if your student would benefit from checking out a school Chromebook or is in need of reliable internet access, please email either me, Celeste Barnett, or Principal Camacho, and I will be in contact with you directly about the checkout procedure for that technology. School meals are still available during distance learning. For information about school meals or an application for free or reduced meals, visit the Nutrition Services website or use the camera on your phone to scan the codes on your screen. Las comidas escolares todavía están disponibles durante la educación a distancia. Para obtener información sobre comidas escolares o una solicitud para comidas gratis o reducidas, visite el sitio web de servicios de nutrición o utilice la cámara de su teléfono para escanear los códigos en su pantalla. Online norms and expectations for students. Google Classroom will be the preferred method that our teachers are using to post and announce things for class. Students must use their district email accounts to gain access, and that's how teachers will be communicating with students. Testing and grades, it's important we, to, to know this. We are back to 100% learning. We are having real grades, real tests, and be prepared to take tests in an online digital environment. Dress and attire, background study area, please be mindful of all of these things and make sure that they are not educationally distracting and appropriate. It's also imperative that students know when their microphones and cameras are on and off. Please be mindful of that and um, doing whatever your, your teacher is requesting at that time. Online safety. We still care about others, even though we're not at school. It's important to look out for another and let someone at our school site know if you see anything online with friends or, uh, or anyone else that you know who needs help. Academic dishonesty is also something that's going to be critical that students follow along with. Um, teachers will know when it's your work and not your work, um, but the same rules apply as far as turning in work that is your own and not plagiarizing others. Digital citizenship, if you are posting things online, if it's as corny as it sounds, but is it, if it's not light, bright, and polite, don't put it online. Up to 40% of college admissions officers are looking at 
your posts online when applying to college. Um, so please keep it clean. Thank you. As you may know, there are no athletic events taking place at this time. This includes practices, games, and other gatherings. That said, we are remaining optimistic. CIF has made adjustments to the 2020-2021 seasons and will issue further guidance in the weeks and months to come. Please visit our SDA Athletics website and follow SDA Athletics on Twitter for information and updates as they are made available. To our incoming ninth grade parents, I want you to know that our elite crew staff and students and ASB are focused on providing your student every opportunity to connect with all aspects of SDA, especially with those your student will soon develop relationships with. As a reminder, please note that your student will see an increased workload, more homework, more rigor, and so on. This is now officially when the permanent high school transcript begins. Grades count. They obviously have an impact on post high school plans. We very likely share in the expectation of more student independence. We also expect an increase in student self-advocacy. To all of you, our amazing parents, here are some simple reminders for how to support your student. First and foremost, your student's mental health, especially during these challenging times, is top priority. Wellness, self-care, and positive connections with you and others are paramount. Please remember to connect with your student before you correct. Dine and play together, talk. Remind your student to use Sunday to reset, get organized and prepare for the week. Again, under these circumstances, be realistic and remember that teens need food and downtime. As previously mentioned, please be on the lookout for resources that will be shared with you on our parent education website. Together, we've got this. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Saldana and I'm the Executive Director of the SDA Foundation. We're the nonprofit parent organization that raises funds and provides volunteer support in its mission of enriching every student's SDA experience. On behalf of our volunteer board of directors, welcome to the 2021 school year. I understand this year is starting differently. Let's face it, everything about our world is different. I'm wearing this cute hat because I haven't had a haircut in five months. But the mission and the vision of the SDA Foundation remains unchanged, and our school still needs our support. I encourage you to consider a donation to our Mustang Fund, which serves to support all students, teachers, and staff, and helps make San Diego the special place it is. You'll have an opportunity to see our donation and volunteer forms in the packet being mailed and sent electronically to you. Now, I could go on and on about the value of the Foundation, but I invite you to watch this short video where you can see firsthand from those who are benefiting most. I realize the video may be a few years old, but the message is just as important now. Your support allows us to continue the rich tradition of San Diego. We look forward to connecting with you soon. One last note, because we want to be sure you have the most updated information. So please check out our newly redesigned websites, sign up for the weekly emails, and be sure to follow us on social media. Thanks, and go Mustangs! Thank you, Mustangs, for watching our digital parent orientation. We can't wait to see you. We've missed you, our current students, and welcome to all of our, all of our incoming ninth graders and new students. If you have any questions with regards to distance learning, please make sure you select the link on this slide and input your questions. We'll see you soon. We're looking forward to serving you.